So to get the Kylie Jenner look, I'm going to show you two lipstick options from MAC, which she allegedly wears both of them, and also two drugstore alternatives as well, if you don't feel like spending $17 for a MAC lipstick. To get that slightly overdrawn lip look, I'll also discuss one of my favorite liners of the moment, which is from Revlon. So here's the first swatch of Whirl, as I'll show you. You can apply it sheer, and it can also be built up to get more of a vampy look, as you can see. That's quite dark. The second one is the infamous Velvet Teddy. That's one swipe, and it can also be built up for more full coverage as well. So on camera, these are picking up a bit more pink toned, but I can assure you that in the bullet and in real life, they are very brown toned. So now I'm just gonna run through a quick run through of the swatches I have. The first one is Revlon's Color Stay Lip Liner in the color Nude. The second one is Max Velvet Teddy, which is a matte formula. Third is Max Whirl, which is also a matte formula as well. Fourth is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul. Fifth is Maybelline 950 in Untainted Spice. And the last one we have here is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul. So, as you can see, this one is quite pink toned in comparison to the other brown toned nudes. But now, applying a lip liner is optional, but to get the full Kylie Jenner effect, we're going to have to overdraw our lips just a little bit. So this is what Velvet Teddy looks like once worn. As you can see, it's a pretty easy to wear everyday color. It's not something too brown toned that you'll feel like you're straight out of the 90s. And I think it's quite flattering on various skin tones as well. So now we're gonna try on Whirl. So this is what Max Whirl looks like. As I warned you ahead of time, it can look a bit more vampy and dark, but definitely if you're going for that look, I'd recommend this color because it's not drying to the lips and it has a nice matte, creamy texture, so it won't accentuate any dryness you may have on your lips. Now I'm gonna move on to the two drugstore alternatives that I have, and they're both from the brand NYX. They're the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. The first one I'm gonna apply is London, which leans more brown toned. And the second one is more pink toned, and this is in Istanbul. So this is what London looks like once applied. I'd say that it most closely resembles Velvet Teddy. And with regards to the texture, it's a bit more lightweight and easy to apply. And the scent closely resembles any MAC lip product, which is kind of like a vanilla cupcake smell. So if you don't like smells, you may not like these. But personally for me, I like having these type of scents on my lip products because it doesn't have that plastic chemical smell that other brands may have. So now I'm going to show you the next color from NYX, which is called Istanbul. Istanbul looks like once worn and as I mentioned before it's less of a Kylie Jenner look but I wanted to include it in this roundup because it's such a pretty color and a great nude as well. I'm going to throw in one more drugstore alternative to finish up this roundup and it's Maybelline's Untainted Spice in number 950. Now this one most closely resembles Whirl except it's not a matte finish. Maybelline does have other matte alternatives but this isn't one of them. It's part of their Color Sensational line and I'll just quickly show you what it looks like once worn. So this is what Untainted Spice looks like and it's quite popular on YouTube once again so you may have already heard of this color. It is kind of like Whirl except with a non-matte finish. There is a way to sort of mattify your lipstick. One alternative is to put a tissue over your lips and then just lightly blot it with some finishing powder. And another way is to just rub off the color with your finger until you're left with kind of a matte natural looking stain. But once again I think this color is quite fitting to include in this video and it is quite a fall color as well.